Let's start doing some temperature versus composition diagrams. They are very useful to identify if the mixture is going to have a ideal or real distribution, especially if there are any asiotrop formation. The conditions are essentially vapor liquid, even though you can still add the two liquid phases, just in case there are two phases in the liquid phase. For instance, if you're using a polar and non-polar material, which will form two phases. In this specific case, uh, this is not going to happen, but just in case, you should add it, okay? Now, pressure will be one atmosphere for the system at 10.10. .10. This is ideal solution, and the system water panel. This is real solution. Let's compare both, ideal and unifac. First things first is to create a new simulation at the components let's see okay now at the methods which will be deal and unifac run the simulation obtain those parameters And now we can continue with our binary analysis. So click here in binary analysis. We want the TAM contained. Typically we bury the most volatile materials. So ensure you have TXY, vapor liquid liquid, even though we already know there will be no two phase in the liquid. There will be no, let's say, two phase in the liquid phases. So whatever you choose here, the diagram will be the same. One atmosphere and it's use first ideal model. So this is very smooth. It is working according to the ideal models, which is Raoult's and Henry's law. Activity is one for both solutions. And let's go back to analysis, create a new analysis here. This will be binary, so oops. Let's go here, create binary. Now we're going to use the same model, temperature, ethane, pentane, ensure this is the same one, same pressure. In this case, we're going to model it with, idea, with a real model. So it's pretty similar to that we have seen. Let's merge plots, use the same scale. And as you can see, there is Mm, the ideal model works very nice for the upper line this one right here which is the vapor line the liquid line is not that well modeled it models well for high amounts of ethane which is the most ideal gas but for the pentane ethane interaction it is not that well anyways this is a good fit i would say ideal model will do okay and now let's select once again analysis go to binary and we're going to select that of water and fennel txy diagram vapor liquid when atmosphere using the ideal model so this is a very similar plot to the ones that we got we got a very smooth line which is the route law and we got this line and this is the vapor liquid phase, this is vapor, and this is liquid. Let me just add here, this is the ideal model. Now let's go back, do again another binary analysis for water final system, liquid liquid pressures and now we're going to choose unifac a real model which will definitely work better because we already know that fennel and water will have real interactions so this may seem pretty similar to that we saw before but actually this is the difference right here right here you can see the difference there is an asiotrop formation so this means that the ideal model will not model this so if we wanted to purify this maybe to a 99 percent purity this will not be possible let me merge this plot to the third one use the same y-axis and once again we have a relative 
bad fit for the paper face. And this, let me add this. This is the ATL model. So just to ensure guys that the blue and green ones are the ATL models. The purple one does not overestimate. I, I would say this is very accurate information. And the green ATL model, the green line, does overestimate the vapor uh, pressure of the mixture. Now, according to the, the envelope for the real solution, it accounts for much more vapor phase, vapor liquid mixture, sorry. So that's how we can define if it has a good fit or not. So TXY diagrams, you can change all the units if you want. And that's how we define if the model is unifac, ideal, or should we try a Peng Robinson or maybe equation of state model?